Well, well, well. You know, I made a video yesterday about uh, married to medicine. So I think this will be the part two. And no, I don't have on my fuchsia pink in homage to uh, Mariah. But this video, I want to go over a couple of things. The other video was geared towards the fashions, okay? This one is going to be geared towards um, some of the issues that was brought up during the season. <clears throat> one. One character or person that really got on my nerves was Buffy. Is that her name? Buffy. The accountant or the CPA. She's probably CPA, not an accountant. Anyway. Why was she crying? The way it's not why was she crying because we'll go into that regarding Dr. Jackie, but the way she was crying, <laughs> it seemed like you know, I think she cried like two or three times or whatever, but it was the way she was crying, just good, <laughs> like okay, you're a CPA, you know, you're on national TV. Can you have a more graceful cry, maybe? Maybe? I mean, you know, is, is there such a thing? Because if you have to cry like that, don't do it. <clears throat> Some things just don't do it. Okay? Just don't do it. All right. That being said, let's um, <clears throat> go to Dr. Jackie as to why Buffy was crying. Or one of the reasons why she cried the many times or the couple of times that she was during the season. So, there's a such thing called HIPAA, and that is to protect people of their confidentiality in regards to their medical um, information. Um, now, I don't know if the producers was a part of this and made and asked Dr. Jackie to say this because you know this is reality TV, even though a lot of it isn't real. Um, but Jackie, Dr. Jackie. I think you were out of line. I know this is a couple months ago, but still. I think you were out of line for telling everyone that Buffy, you know, couldn't have kids or is infertile. That's not for you to tell. Like, if Buffy wants to get up there and cry, oh, I can't have kids, oh, you know how she cries, then that's for her. But for you to put that on the platform in front of, you know, the world or whoever views this, your TV show, I think that was so unprofessional. And actually, I mean, <clears throat> that's that's a possibility, that's a, you know, possible lawsuit. Like if you're my doctor and you tell everybody that I'm infertile on national TV, you gonna have some paper served to you, yes. Yes, because you were out of line. Now, I don't care if you apologize or whatever, but you're a professional. Like, you're dealing with major celebrities and everything. So, do you, do you tell everybody's business? Like, on national TV? <clears throat> that's not your, that's, that's not for you to do. Now, when you guys are in the office together, yes, one-on-one, -on -one, okay, blah, 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 blah. You know, and if you're doing a consultation with her and, you know, a surrogate, okay, well, duh, you know, okay, fine. But for you to put it in on your platform at your party regarding, what was that, a book release or something or whatever? Oh, no, honey, you're out of line. No, you violated HIPAA laws. No, no, I don't care if she did tell everybody or whatever we did we know? But still, even if we did know, that's still not for you to say, yeah, and Buffy, and you're infertile. I would have been like, B, what? Excuse me? Hello? Honey, I would have called up my turn and been like, go ahead, pull up the paper, baby, because we about to sue for something. You was out of line. And you know, you're just so a little arrogant. You're just like, well, I apologize. Da, 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 da. No, honey, that apology was not gen genuine at all. No. I don't think so. But I don't care if you apologize or not. You should have never did it. I mean, you're a professional doctor. Like, everybody goes to you. I can't see you doing that. So, I don't think that was in your character to do. It had to be the TV show. It couldn't have been you. But moving on, because, you know, 
Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Because I'll sue you. I don't know what I'll sue you for. But I'll, you don't, just don't do it. I don't care what. You see what happened. I don't care what the producers tell you. But you see what happened to Phaedra. Because she claimed that the producers told her to do something. And guess what? She got fired. So you know what? Don't lose your license over this silly. This uh, little um, TV show. Because the TV show will be gone. And you'll be licenseless. So don't, don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. It is not worth it, Dr. Jackie. Okay? Moving forward. So there's Dr. Jackie. Let's see. Contessa. I don't know what's going on with Contessa. I don't get it. I don't get it with Contessa. She wants to go to school. I don't know. It's just she wants to move. She. I don't understand how you and your husband, y'all make all this money. You've been to school all this time. But you can't get a nanny. Like, I, I don't get it. You can pay $10,000 for birthday party but you can't get a nanny like i i honestly don't think that contessa wants to be it's not that she wants to be you know how people have kids but that's not their thing to take care of them or be home and i, I just don't think that that's not in her realm of what she thinks or makes her happy i'm not saying she's not a good mother I'm just saying she doesn't probably, that's not on the top of her list. Like going to school and and getting like five more degrees and, you know, traveling, you know, continuing traveling like she was when she was in the military. I forgot what branch. I think that's what she would, you know, make her life worth living. But um, mm -mm. being in Atlanta and with the three kids and picking them from school, I don't think so. I think she's the type of mother that would love to travel around the, the world or the country in a van or camper with the kids and, you know, homeschool them and take care of people all over the country or fly all over or have a private plane and, you know, homeschool the kids and just go everywhere, whatever. I don't think her husband, even though I want to do a husband segment, but I don't think her husband, I think he's more stable. And I think she said that or whatever. Y'all should have figured this out before y'all got married um, and had them kids. And again, y'all making all this money, got that beautiful house, but you cannot get a nanny. Like, I... Communication here? But we're going to talk about the husbands and I'll get further into that. But that's my take on Contessa. Moving on. Who's next? Hmm. Quad. Did she or didn't she? You know what? Comment allegedly. Who cares? I don't know. I don't care. I just want to know if she did was good or not. You know? No, I'm not really interested in comment. I'm not interested in what. No, I don't even care. Okay. You and the comment allegedly may have sort of kind of you guys met and whatever else. Okay. I mean, you know, if that's going to excite this storyline, blah, blah, blah. I, mm, I don't really care. Um, The fact that she got. Her divorce. Well, you saw it, but other for regarding the reunion and, you know, they got closure and, you know, that really touched me and whatever, whatever. Well, I'm glad you guys got the papers. You know, hopefully you guys can move on. Quad, you know, Quad's going to, I'm not worried about Quad. There is a billion people in the world. Quad is not one that I'm worried about. No, Quad will handle it re regardless of whatever. Men, kids, jobs, hair, health, whatever. Quad, mm -mm, no. If anything, Quad is not a punk in any any instance anywhere. Now, let's segue that to Quad and Mariah. Hi, Mariah. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Anyway, <clears throat> Mariah and um, the Coke, allegedly. This is what I'm going to tell you. How should I say? I dated a doctor once. Met him in Bible study. He used to always have a cup. That cup was full of liquor. Oh, yes. Liquor. He was an alcoholic drunk. I was like, oh my goodness. How do you go to Bible study with a cup full of liquor? That being said, if Mariah did do coke, okay, fine. I mean, you know, she's not. Well, so what? A lot, I don't, I don't do coke. I don't do drugs. Okay, 
I, I don't. I don't do any drugs. My system is totally clean. Like, I just had a, a procedure, and they put fentanyl on me. And I tried to tell them, look, don't put a lot of drugs in me because I am pure when it comes to drug. I'm, like, totally drug-free. And if you put that in, you know, I, I get, ooh, even more. Ooh, I don't need any type of drug. So, that being said, um, a lot of people do coke. Like, more people... In New York, tons of people do coke. San Francisco, tons. I mean, you know, doctors, lawyers, judges, clerks, <coughs> policemen, probably fire everyone. I don't, you know, I. that's not my, but what I'm saying is this. Even if she did, did it, do it, okay. So what? I don't really care. I still love her. That, that doesn't take anything. If she has a nose problem, I don't care. If she doesn't have a nose problem, I don't care. She's still Mariah, still love her. Quad, there's nothing you can say or do to take that away from me and Mariah. Just honestly, okay? Um, But honestly, you know, like, you know, doctors work hard. So if they have, if they need a little upper to make sure that they're alert enough to do a surgery, like I just had a procedure. I don't want no sleepy uh, doctor. No, I want you super hyped to be aware and be awake of what you're doing when you doing whatever on my body. So, hey, puff, puff, pass, pass, or snort, snort, or whatever y'all do with the coke. I don't know. I don't know, but just be aware when you're taking care of me. So, that's about that. Okay, so back to Quad and Mariah with Quad sleeping with the the step the brother in law. Hmm. I mean, I wasn't there, and I mean, it, you're not you're single up until you're married. So, was he married? No, I don't think he was married. So moving on. <laughs> You're single up until you're married. If he, if she did fool around with him, he was single. They may have been engaged, but you're single until you get married. Does that make sense? You're single until up until the day you get married. That's why they have the bachelor parties and the bachelor 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 at parties. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Because it's to celebrate your last night of being single. And then the next day you get married. And after you get married, then you have to live by the rules of marriage. Okay? Does that make sense? So anything that you do before you're married doesn't count. Okay? So if Quad did or didn't sleep, sleep with him, he was single. All right. Moving forward. So who's left? Mariah, Quad, Contessa, Buffy. Oh, um, who's the one with the triple, who, with the new house from Detroit? Toya. I like Toya. I just, I didn't like, well, you saw the video. I didn't like what she wore to the, um, reunion. The, from Detroit, you dressing like that girl, please. Anyway, Toya, um, yeah, she lost the baby. I thought that was sad. But, you know, I just like Toya and her husband, you know, but we'll talk about husbands in the next video. I I I like Toy. I like the boys. I I like their life. I like that you go through struggles, and you you conquer it and you move on and you keep going and you stay strong and you don't crack or whatever. Again, Quad is one person that I would I don't worry about. Uh, sorry, I did a makeup uh makeup video. Sorry, um, Quad is one person that I don't I don't think she'll ever crack. Toy is another one. She's Detroit strong. Although I'm not from Detroit, I love me some Detroit. I've I've been there and I, I want to move there eventually. But um I love Detroit. So maybe that's why I have this, you know, uncanny love for Toya. She does not beat Mariah, please understand. But I, I do I love Toya. I, I I just do. I love her spirit. So um that's about it regarding Toya. She has abortion. She has that okay, the house. So she had the housewarming and no one could enter her house. Well, I don't blame her. <laughs> mm -mm, honey, I do not blame her. Nobody. I don't care if I have furniture or not. If I give you that extravagant backyard feel, take it, baby. You don't need to be in my house. All them, I got a two 
two million dollar house and y'all gonna mess it up oh no 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 when you get the furniture y'all can come back this that was just an introduction like hey we did it let's celebrate the finishing now we can celebrate the furnishing <laughs> First, we have a party for the finishing of the house, and then we can have another party for the furnishing of the house. Does that make sense? Boom. There you go. Catch. 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 All right. So, yeah, that was a beautiful house. And oh, that closet. But, again, I discussed that in the first video regarding the closet. Yes, that was a closet. I didn't know that Toya was, you know, couture. Or a dresser, or fashion, or a stylist, or whatever. I, I mean, when I look at Toya, I don't see fashion, or fashion, or a stylist, or, you know, someone who is coutured. <laughs> I don't see it. I mean, I love her. It doesn't take anything away from her, but I just don't see it. But that closet, honey, she, I don't have to see it, because that closet tells it all. It didn't tell it all in the reunion, but it's still, I mean, on her, but it still told it all. So, who do we have left? Heavenly. Hmm. <laughs> heavenly. Heavenly. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. Woo! <clears throat> One thing I will say about you, Heavenly. You are very intelligent. You take notes and you proceed with caution. I think you did see my last video um, regarding that reunion last year. And you saw the sentiments of me in regards to you and your personality and your behavior and your disrespect of Mariah's mother. That being said, I do appreciate that you took note and that you did not call, not that I know, I can't remember, you didn't call her mother a B this, this season. And I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Because not for me, but for you, um, it has something to do with your respect for someone's mother. <clears throat> and yourself and yourself that you for you to call someone's mother a be continuously that says a lot about your character no one's perfect i'm not perfect i may have done the same thing but to change for the better and not continue to do it again in this season because you you understood how I felt or anyone else felt, that is con commendable, mm -hmm. very commendable. And I appreciate that. And I'm sure Mariah appreciates that. Um, I'm sure the mother appreciates that. I'm surprised that they ain't tapped it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, you know, was that the producers or whatever. Like I said, this is reality and blah, 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 blah. But I do appreciate it. I, you know, for Heavenly... I would have to give you the MVP reward for, well, the most, most improved, award for the most improved. Like I said in the other video, for the reunion, your hair, your makeup, your dress, um, your mouth is still, but it's not as, as ratchet and raggedy and ghetto, you know, <clears throat> as it has been. And even though you talk, you talk a lot, but it, it, it makes for good TV. Like, I can't imagine married to medicine without heavenly. <clears throat> um, I don't even know if I want to say who or some of the people that I could imagine it without. But, no. Heavenly, you're like one of the main characters of the show. You, you scooted in because you didn't start on the first season. But I, I can't see the show without you. With the mouth you know, and your house or whatever. But like, again, you need to redo your closet because that old granny sofa, it's just, it's stale. It, you know, we're in 2020. And if you got all that money, you can buy this and you can buy that. And, you know, you got twice as much as Toya and, you know, she got a hustle and still and da, 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 da. Well, if you have it, can you put some improvements on your house? Because I know you got it. I know you got the money, you know, if anybody has them, because you're a hustler and you're an entrepreneur and you, you go for yours. And I like that about you. I really do like that about you, Heavenly. No, you're a hustler. Mm -mm, you're going for it. If it's out there, you're going to get it. However, you, you will figure it out. You will research, read or whatever. And <clears throat> I really do like that about you. I really do. You know, you're not laid back. You're not going to let it come to new you. You're going to go and get it. 
And I like that. That's a, you're a hustler. I, now, you know, I don't particularly care, you know, for your mouth or whatever. And a lot of people don't care about my mouth. Could care for my mouth. And, oh, well, I'm not going to change my stripes if I'm not wrong. You see what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not asking you particularly to change all your stripes. Just the one, that, that last stripe where, you know, around your, your mouth and your butt where you talk about someone's mother. Or, you know, you don't talk about someone's mother, you don't talk about someone's kid. On national TV or whatever. I mean, you know, whatever. But, again, I mean, I blame Mariah because you only got one time to talk about my mother. <clears throat> in front of my face. Just, you got one time. And, you know, I'm not saying that I'm going to do anything, but I would shut it down. You would never speak to me. You would have nothing ever to do with me again. Like, ever. Ever, ever, never. Okay, so... Congratulations, Heavenly. You are the most improved. I really, I really like what you didn't do in regards to saying anything about um, or calling Mariah's mother a bee. Okay. Now, moving along, Simone. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Maybe because I, you know, I like to hear. Yeah. But um, I like Simone. I like her spirit. I love her family. Uh, I'm not going to talk about her husband because that's on the next video. Um, I like that. You know, I like her mouth. Now, Simone, unlike Heavenly, has a mouth. But she doesn't call people's mothers, you know, bees or whatever. She doesn't talk. I mean, if she does talk about people's mothers, which, you know, whatever... But she doesn't call them a B. That's so un yeah, so disrespectful. I don't know where Heavenly gets that. Like, you can't blame that on Florida. You know, you're too prominent in your community to lash out on someone's mother and call them a B. Like, I just don't. I mean, that's real gutta. Gut that's Project Gutta, Crackhead, Skid Row, Homeless. No, I don't even think homeless people. Homeless people don't even do that. That's crack. That, mm -mm, you must be. Anyway, let me know. Mm. So Simone does have a mouth, you know, whatever. But, you know, I don't. Oh, okay. So Simone was mad at Heavenly because of something she said. Oh, she was mad at Heavenly for what she said about her hubby. So we're good. I'm not going to talk about husbands on this one, but, um, I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a husband, so I can't really, can't really, mm -mm. someone talk about my husband. That's between, I don't know. Should her, should Heavenly had said something about. See, I don't know because they are set in an upper echelon, and on Twitter, you know, like you know how Trump is on Twitter saying this or whatever. When, dude, you're the president. You not you shouldn't be talking about this frivolous stuff. Like, I don't know if I. Hmm, I'm trying to think if I was a doctor in that profession, would I be on Twitter? talking about somebody's husband okay yeah i probably would <laughs> i would keep it real i would i would i would but um i don't i don't you know i don't know what to say about simone and all that i think that was just for a storyline i don't know they mm, heavenly her mouth is kind of loose you know what i'm saying i don't know um as far as her and dr jackie i don't know you know, Dr. Jack, mm, it seems like Dr. Jackie is, like, you know, she's very intelligent, very, mm, very smart. You know, she's a great entrepreneur. She's good with business. But there's something, just seems something fake about her. It's like, maybe she's like, has a mouth or kind of ghetto, whatever, but she's really um, internalizing it. it for her reputation on the show, which 
you know, I would be a hypocrite in saying that she shouldn't because I'm talking about Heavenly and how she's, but you're, you know, I, mm, there's just something, you know, and I told you how she always does this, you know, and she was like hiding under Heavenly at the reunion, whatever. I, I can't pinpoint it. I can't. I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous, you know, intelligent. She's one of the, you know, most popular doctors in Atlanta, the metro area, but I can't place what my disdain is for Dr. Jack, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, okay, I'll talk about the husbands in the next video. But I, I just, I can't place it. I can't place it. Um, Simone, I don't know. Did her, did she really have a storyline? Mm. I mean, you know, she always argues or whatever when they went to Mexico or wherever they went. I mean, you know, Simone just, nah, 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 nah. I mean, she makes for good TV. Simone needs to get a stylist, because I just, mm-mm. But you know what? Hell, shit. If I was a doctor, I'd, mm -mm, I ain't worried about no clothes. I'm trying to, you know, get these babies, whatever. But, you know, when you're on national TV, like, even in the reunion or whatever, you know, she's kind of like a tomboyish. I can't imagine her, you know, something Victoria's Secret or, yeah. I mean, not that I'm gay or anything. I'm just like, you know, I, I'm just, maybe I'm forgetting about something about Simone. You know what? Listen, Simone, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting about something that happened to you over the season. You know what? Simone is, all, one thing I must say about Simone, Simone is always the one who, um, sorry about this. I didn't make a video, sorry. Simone, see, I um Simone is always the one who cleans up. Like if there's a argument or whatever, she is um the one that tends to mend things or says what's supposed to be. I I I'm not really formulating that my thought. Get me into that next video when I discuss the husbands or whatever, and then I'll come back. I'll start with you, Simone. And, you know, I'll go over, you know, your character, what I think my commentary on you and, you know, what you added to this season or what you took away or who were you, you know, what I thought of you, okay? I'm sorry, I you, I almost forgot about Simone and I like Simone. I like Simone. She's, she's, yeah, you know, I talk about her teeth, but I have, I got buck teeth. So, um, I don't know, but I'll get back to you guys, okay? So... Look, the sun's about to go down. I have to go to this meeting to, for housing rights or whatever because it's so expensive out here. And it's just so so much homelessness or whatever. So I'm going to do some phone making or whatever. But look, you guys, take care. I will have that third video regarding the husbands um, in Married to Medicine because I, I like the show. Um, and I will see you next time. Please like subscribe and comment okay like subscribe and comment comment subscribe and like all right please i appreciate it the more likes the more subscriptions the more comments the more videos you catch you got that catch all right talk to you guys later bye bye let me hit the uh -oh.